WSTKS FM Worldwide, digital collaborative learning for the 21st century. Hello, everyone. It's Professor Schwartz once again from the WSTKS FM Worldwide Studios with important information on how to create your IAH course capstone project. When you follow the advice in my podcast episodes like this one, your independent work and digital collaboration with the members of your student learning team become more cohesive and efficient. In short, you set yourself up to succeed through the active cultivation of numerous 21st century employability skills as you and your team learn about and create your own new knowledge about course materials you examine each week. In just a moment, I'll be right back for a brief look at how to create your final project in which you reflect on and self-assess your learning in the course during the last 15 weeks. Stay tuned! Hello again, everyone. Professor Schwartz here, now joined by my feline friend, Onyx the Cat, licking his paws beneath the desk lamp to my right, and, you guessed it, the usual mug of fresh, strong coffee close at hand. Some graduate student habits never leave you, and we can blame my coffee habit on the years I spent in Madison, Wisconsin at the mighty University of Wisconsin. (laughs) Go Badgers! But that's a story for another time. Today, let's take a look at your capstone project for your IAH course this semester, your individual semester reflection and self-assessment of your learning in the course. For this project, each student in the course should reflect on their activities related to the course during the entire 15-week semester. Your reflection should describe, assess, and appraise your work in the course at both the individual level and as part of your student learning team. Keep in mind that unlike the first three projects for the course, which were collaborative in nature, this project should be completed by you alone, that is, independently. Just to be clear, your course capstone project is not collaborative. Instead, each student should develop an individual reflection on and self-assessment of their work in the course that addresses various points in some detail. Following a station identification, I'll get started with information about the kinds of things you should include as part of your reflection on and self-assessment of your learning in the course. See you in one moment. You're listening to WSTKS FM Worldwide, digital collaborative learning for the 21st century. If you find this podcast helpful, be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe. Hello again. Okay, so you know already that your last assignment, the course capstone project, involves a reflection on and self-assessment of your learning during the 15-week course. In our second segment of today's program, let's talk now about the specific kinds of things you should address with your project. To begin with, for your introduction, you'll want to describe the semester in detail with regard to this particular course and your related activities. As part of that, You should also briefly describe the projects, processes, and skills that you will discuss through the rest of your reflection and self-assessment. Moving into the body of your semester reflection, you should describe what you found most enjoyable about two or possibly three projects that you were part of this semester and explain why. In addition, be sure to explain three processes for the collaborative projects you revisit. Describe how these processes were challenging and rewarding. You should also include three skills that you gained or improved upon during the semester. These do not have to relate to what you have discussed already, but they can if you so choose. As part of that, you should also describe why you find these new or improved skills interesting, useful, enjoyable, or perhaps challenging. In just a moment, we'll look at a few additional points you want to make sure you include as part of your semester reflection and self-assessment of your work in the course. I'll be right back. Hello again, everyone. 
So far, we've considered the kinds of things you want to re-examine in your semester reflection and self-assessment of your work in your IAH course this semester. These include brief discussion and description of the semester and your related activities in the course, as well as the various projects, processes, and new skills you cultivated as part of all of that. With this introductory phase of your reflection, you should set things up for more detailed re-examination and discussion of your learning once you dive into the more detailed body of your discussion. Let's continue now by looking at additional points you want to consider as you develop the body of your semester reflection and assessment of your learning in the course. As part of the main body of your discussion, you should also describe your biggest aha moment this semester. You have already encountered the aha moment concept several times in other weekly and collaborative project concepts, but let's take a moment to revisit and clarify the idea just so that we are all on the same page. In short, an aha moment is simply a new idea, an unexpected realization, a surprising connection or relationship, or an otherwise serendipitous moment that pops into your head as a result of your earlier discussion this semester, related learning, and thinking about course materials. In any case, remember also to discuss, too, how your biggest aha moment this semester connects to something you have learned in other courses, either here at Michigan State University or elsewhere. We tend to remember new learning and related knowledge for much longer when we can connect that somehow to prior knowledge. So this is a key component to include as part of your semester reflection on and self-assessment of your learning in the course. When we come back after another station identification, I'll talk about how to wind down your semester reflection and self-assessment of your learning in the course, as well as the four options available to you for creating and sharing your IAH course capstone project. Stay tuned. You're listening to WSTKS FM Worldwide, digital collaborative learning for the 21st century. If you find this podcast helpful, be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe. And we're back. Hello again, everyone. Okay, we're winding down now, but let's look at wrapping up your semester reflection on and self-assessment of your learning for the semester in this particular IAH course, plus the four options available to you for creating and sharing your course capstone project. As you wind down and conclude the discussion of your work this semester, avoid simply summarizing what you have already said. Instead, answer the implied, so what, in quotes, question. Here you are basically explaining why your semester reflection and self-assessment of your learning in the course is important and why someone else should care. In other words, leave yourself and me with something interesting and notable to think about when it comes to your learning in the course during the last 15 weeks. Please remember that the individual semester reflection is not a forum to complain about student learning team members, assignments, your professor, or previous grades. Neither should the subject matter of your work devolve into grievance, blame shifting, or name calling. Remember that that's not the point of this IAH course capstone project. In a minute, I'll be right back with a few final words on the four choices available to you for creating and sharing your IAH course capstone project. Talk to you again in one moment. Welcome back to the final segment in today's program, everyone. Just like the three previous collaborative projects that have been part of this IAH course, you have voice and choice in how you can present your capstone project, a reflection on and self-assessment of your learning during the last 15 weeks for your IAH course. First, you can develop a 7-10 to 10 page traditional essay in which you revisit your coursework and related activities this semester. Second, you might instead choose to record a 5-6 to six minute video using your iPhone in which you address the same points as outlined above. 
Alternately, you might like to present your semester reflection on and self-assessment of your learning in the course this semester in the form of a photograph montage. The fourth option for your semester reflection on and self-assessment of your learning in the course is to create a musical playlist of some kind. Do be sure, however, to include explanatory text that connects, clarifies, and further explains your work rather than simply compiling and submitting a list of loosely connected images or tunes if you choose either option number three or number four. Learn more about how to create your IAH course capstone project, a semester reflection on and self-assessment of your learning in the course by going to our D2L content page. Click the Project Packets tab on the left of your screen and open Project Packet number 4 for full details on the assignment and suggested online applications for creating options 3 and 4. And that will do it for this episode on how to create your IAH course capstone project. I've enjoyed working with you during the last almost 15 weeks. If you have found this podcast a useful tool for navigating your coursework in that time, please continue to tune in for more helpful tips, tricks, and advice based on my 25-plus years of teaching and working with thousands of undergraduates at three Big Ten universities across the upper Midwest of the United States. In the meantime, thank you for joining me today. I'll see you in class, online, or during Zoom office hours if you drop by with a question. Stay healthy, have a safe and a productive end of the semester, everyone. With special regards, <laughs> from Onyx, the cat what am. So long, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. You've just heard a podcast from WSTKS FM Worldwide, digital collaborative learning for the 21st century.